Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? Before any of you come at me, yes, the ring is missing, in for sizing, all of that, everything is fine. I didn't want to have to sit on my hand today. <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure that you know everything is fine. In fact, it's very good. Um, yeah, I've been meditating on the both ands of life right now. I can be both excited that there's 222 days until a party that is going to allow uh, me to become a missus again. And I can be sad at the state of the world, big picture. You know, there's a both and yes, we can be all of these things. Um, we can experience the joys of watching your kid say, Mom, I'm going to give up that activity because my friend needs me to call her and, and be a support to her. I can watch my kids growing into becoming good friends and I can also be concerned for them and how they grow into the world that we're leaving for them. I can be both and. And I can be concerned about my own country while not com diminishing the concern I have for other countries in the world today and vice versa. I can have a huge concern for Eastern Europe and still be concerned for my own country. I don't have to say, well, see, right? Like, and there's a lot of well sees out there. And um, it's one of those moments in life where I just sit and go, oh, this isn't happening to make me feel better about the things I have. This isn't about me, nor is anyone else's reactions to what's going on, whether it be in my own country or in Europe. None of this, none of this is about me and how very selfish and sorry Western I can become when I make it about, oh, but look at all that God is. Like, I need to be grateful for what I have simply because I should be grateful. It should not be in comparison to someone else. You know, like, I'm allowed to be joyful about what I have, even as I have a friend who is walking a very fine line between being in this world and walking themselves out of this world because they're struggling with their mental health. I am allowed to have both. It's uh, Brene Brown calls it being in the wilderness just because she um, owns and uses guns doesn't mean she's a fighter for the NRA, right? Like she's obviously American, but she just says there can be a middle ground. There can be somewhere in the middle. And because of the way our world has, our being Western, our Westernized world has become so binary. There can be this middle ground of wilderness where I can have something and still not be, um, like I, I can have both. Right? And she's like, I might be a gun user and a gun, like a hunter and a whatever. She grew up using them. And she goes, but that doesn't mean I'm going to advocate for the use of them by everyone and everyone walking down the street to just have a firearm at the ready. And so she talks about being in the wilderness of the non binary. And she is not referring to sexuality or identity. Like she's just talking about your leanings because I always thought that me in this in-between space well am I just fence sitting then right I'm not choosing a side and therefore I have no integrity whatsoever I have heard those lies in my head and when I'm overwhelmed by things in the world like yesterday I woke up crying but I was crying for Russia. There's so much blue and yellow around right now and I'm overwhelmed for Ukraine. But Russia, the average babushka, I'm just thinking if my mom was Russian, she would not be wanting to see her grandkids being forced to go out there and fight 
for this. Like, the average Russian does not want this. Thousands are being arrested because they're standing up for their right to not fight. Forget about the politics. They're standing up for their right to not fight. And they're saying the Ukrainians did not do anything to us. We're not killing them. And Russia's saying, okay, fine. Then you're going to jail. And we don't know what goes on behind those doors. And good luck ever seeing the light of day again. They're going to be awfully cold very soon. And it's just so heartbreaking that it's one or the other. No, it's both and. I can pray for Russia and I can pray for the Ukraine. I can be joyful that I have been given so much and I'm in a really sunny part of my life, stage of my life right now. And I can also wonder what's going to happen in the future for my children. I can be so excited to watch my kids grow and flourish and become committed members of society and also go, you're being a little punk, man. And the teenage years are driving me crazy. Being both and is not fence sitting. And it's okay. If you find yourself in that space today, just sit in the space. Just sit in the space and know that you are not alone. It might be kind of foggy, but through the fog, reach out and see. That's where Jesus resides too. In the gray, in the fog, in the mist, in the wilderness. You're not wrong. You don't have to pick sides. You're allowed to see the good and the bad of everything going on around you. And guess what? You don't have to fix any of it. You don't have to make your voice heard. You don't have to prove to others you're right. You have no responsibility. If others are putting you down because you haven't picked a side, if others are um, trying to talk at you about what you should or shouldn't think about the state of the world, When Jimmy was really little and got really loud because the the ability to self-regulate was not even growing, let alone matured, I would put my fingers on my nose and I'd be like, turn it down, turn it down, like it's a volume knob. If you're overwhelmed with the world today, just sit in that wilderness. And turn it off. It's okay to turn it off. Enjoy your coffee. Enjoy your Monday. Sorry, this is so sing along. <laughs> know that I love you. Mm. Bye.